Good evening, darts fans, and welcome to another quality ladies showdown right here on USA Darts. Folks, I'm William Stewart, and with me virtually is the lovely Jen Mounts. That's right. Looks like a rematch, ladies and gentlemen, from last year's Seacoast Open 2019. Callie West prevailed over Dana Foster in 501 singles. And now Foster's looking to get some sweet, sweet revenge, I think, in our first ever set play format. So we're introducing set play for the first time in our head to head matchups. That's going to be a format of five sets of best of five legs, correct, Will? Yeah, it's going to be a best of five leg, five set match. So it's going to be a good one tonight. These ladies are going to get some darts in, that's for sure. And they've already played before, so they're going to have to play. A, well, they've already seen each other, right? Seacoast Open, is that correct? It's 4-4-3 four, four, for Cali? Yeah, that was uh, last year, 2019, uh, Andover, Massachusetts. So they're both on the East Coast. Cali in New York, of course, and Dan all the way up in New Brunswick, Canada. So it's, it's not too hard for uh, Dana to be traveling internationally. So I've been lucky enough to get to see her play in person a few times now. Yeah, she's, I know she's ranked actually in the top 50 nationally or internationally as well. So internationally, she's around, yeah, yeah, around the world actually. So uh, she's a quality dart player. She's been around for quite some time. She actually uh, just missed out to Dita Hedman last year in the World Masters. So she's been on the scene, she's been over overseas. So this is gonna be a quality matchup between two players that know each other like the back of their hands. So I'm looking forward to it. I know everybody else is. Uh, what do you say? Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's uh, let them play some darts here. How about that? Sounds great. All righty. Well, ladies, it's your show. Dana to throw first. Game on. All the best, Kelly. Yep, you too, Dad. 26. All righty. Let me make my adjustments, turn off my mics, get our boards in here. We're starting this match off. Dan's actually from New Brunswick, Canada. She's actually over at her friend's house. She had some internet issues. She was saying there was a storm coming in, I believe. So just for, uh, just for a good time's time. sake, she uh, yeah, right? figured she'd come over and uh, and play it over at a friend's house. Is that, I believe is that is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And we really appreciate it. I mean, virtual darts is tough as it is to make everything look nice and pretty and make sure everyone's internet connection is strong. It's it's just a really tough thing to do. The players are just much a part of the production crew as, as we are. And we appreciate them so much bending over backwards to put on the best show that they can for their followers. So like and share away. We've got a lot of darts to see here, you all. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you are right. I mean, they are part of the production crew. They gotta, they gotta set up their own cam. So we just gotta help them out down the down the road. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a difficult thing. Everybody's a different camera, so you gotta kind of transition over to that and and kind of make those adjustments. Um, like for instance, you know, Callie's board. She's rocking a awesome. Uh, you know, light ring, but the problem with those is sometimes that glare, you know, depending on the angle can can do different things to the screen. But I mean, you just make those adjustments and go with it. And we got a pretty good board view here tonight of hers. Yeah, absolutely. Those Corona lights are an amazing tool for the players. They, they do blow out the boards a little with the exposure, but not too hard to fix. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially... You know, if you if you if you know how to do that one, and if you if you need some help, just reach out to me. You can always do that. I'm always willing to uh, message you back. I, I I definitely appreciate when people message me. Um, you know, I'm one of those people that I never care myself. I'm always near my phone, so I'm always around it. You might as well, if you have a question, message me myself. Anytime. May not be the same for Jen, so don't we go and message messaging her now, okay? <laughs> Oh, I get a, how do I get sponsored every single day? So oh, that's, I'm that's, sure. I'm the go-to girl for that. I'm sure. But we have videos out there for that one. So go look, look them up. She's uh, made it known. That's for sure. Well, Dana's sitting well, on 66. This, yeah, this first leg here. Very doable out for Foster. I think it's just getting used to that, you know, that virtual Going scene. That treble 10. There you go. Double top. Tops. Oh. Just on the outside. Okay. All 
right, so sitting on 40. Callie just looking to do some damage. Needs a triple two. She Ooh. does. Well, big 140. 140 certainly will put a little bit of pressure on that, that top shot. Uh oh, we got Jeff Smith chiming in. I've won a ton of tournaments with both of these girls. They have both carried me. A, a slip bust into the double 15 on accident. Callie putting in the work on that 140. Bull for tops. Set up. Ooh. 57. 57 scored. Uh, one one last chance, I think, for Dana here on the double 20. One last opportunity is inside. what you think, and I'm thinking the same. Oh, oh inside again. There. Double four here. Bust. I'm lucky. The bust on the 18. <laughs> right there, Cal. Uh. Demon three. There it is. Third dart. Shot. First leg goes to Dana Foster. She will hold throw and Callie to start us off on her second leg. I love these ladies are East Coasters. Callie is from that Syracuse area. That's where she kind of resides at right now. I know she does, uh, I believe, some work with the uh, Syracuse Open. At least she's uh, maybe on the board now. I don't. I, I don't. That may be an she assumption. Is. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I was about to say. Member, and if you all have never had a chance to go to New York, Syracuse, Syracuse Open is uh, in February every year. I'm not. Sh I'm not quite sure. You know. Of course, with COVID, I think things are still being worked out uh, to see if we're going to have an event upcoming 2021. But uh, it's awesome, awesome tournament. They're trying to work in to get Digital Steel involved with Dark Connect and you know just modernize a little bit. So I think we'll see um, some live streaming there in the future as well. Yeah, that definitely would be great. I mean, just just look what Dark Connect does. I mean, those great people over at Dark Connect—they have this phenomenal app. They just worked in this new lobby, lobby um, kind of video video type deal. I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, it's putting everything together to make it so much easier. And uh, it's incredible the work that they've done. And just to have these players, you know, play from thousands of miles away or hundreds of miles away, whatever it may be, it's uh, really unique. Unique, so for 24 bucks a year, definitely a good investment. It's definitely been a game changer, and honestly, one of the, the most affordable softwares you can buy. Especially when you're doing a tournament, too. I mean, you look at that that benefit, it's, it's phenomenal. It'll write the bracket for you, it'll run it for you if you let it. I mean, it's just super easy. You'll get board calls on your uh, phone via email or text message, whatever you kind of choose. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a great system. Highly recommend. Looks like we're kind of, by the way, all the match stats and performance from the, the match this evening, you can find by going to darkneck.com. type in the DC TV code L N I Y. I always love when you mention that just so people can kind of get that whole board setting and, and view it, view it right in, uh, right in their own home, you know, on their tablet, if they so choose. It's a definitely unique feature. You know, you kind of get that same look when you're trying to view the UK Open or whatever it may be over there, especially when there's multiple games going on at the same time. It's also always nice to kind of like take a look back on the previous leg and how many darts are we in, what kind of consistent, you know, averages are we dealing with. It just makes it a little more exciting, the nuances of darts. Uh, 44. 131 for West. Is that a trip 20? Could go trip 13, double 16. 131 is a fun one. Yeah, I like the 131. 91 sets up a double top. 136 wow, here for Foster. People in the chat telling us hello, hello everybody. Thank you for uh, tuning in with us for this good matchup. First, First dart for Game West. Shot. There we go. Nice. Only needs one dart. Game and one. Callie West ties us up. She holds throw one to one in this first set. Best of five. I rather like this set play option, especially with the kind of grand freaks going on. Yeah. I almost wanted them to go double in, double out just for fun, but. 
what do you I'm want? just happy to get these uh, two ladies on. Uh, they definitely have a, a very big um, you know, following. They go around to a lot of tournaments. I know Wes has been uh, in the top 10 for 12, 12 to 13 consecutive years. And, uh, you know, Miss Foster's top 50 in the world. Come on. Great matchup here. There's definitely a long history um, of caliber play between the two of them. They're both, you know, top four right now within their respective countries, and that's hard to do. You know, I would say even especially on the Canadian side. Let's see Dana talking to herself there. Nothing wrong with that. Hold herself a little. <laughs> I kind of watched the. We're not gonna do it. Yeah, I kind of watched the recap between these two when they played at Seacoast, and you know, Dana seems to do that a little bit. You know, talk, talk, talk <laughs> to herself. Good. Nothing wrong with that one. I kind of yeah, enjoy doing that so. myself when I'm playing. <laughs> kind of get you going. One hundred. There you, there you go. go. Seems Her to work. Talk definitely worked, and she heats things up with a one hundred round. You know, speaking of that match, it was definitely a great match between those two. 4-3. Callie actually came back from behind. Uh, I think she was 3-2 down and came back for the win. But there, it was a, definitely an intense match. Callie plays with a lot of intensity. Um, Absolutely. And there was a game-changing moment where the, the whole shift of it just kind of went into Callie's favor, and she came back from a... a being pretty far behind, I mean, just absolute motivator gave herself some confidence to finish strong. Well, here I am talking about it. You would know best. You commentated the match. I, I called that match. That's correct. <laughs> I, I also, uh, you know, uh, edited the video together of the, of the uh, highlights for that match. So I've, I've watched it a few times now. Correct. Correct. The perks of being CG. 70. Back to back great rounds from West 79, 81 to leave. Uh, no out on, or no out on the 159, but we're we're bringing it down here. 66. Leaves 93. Foster without an opportunity, so West is going to come back with that 93. Let's see where she goes. Uh, trip uh, 19. Trip 19 leaves double 18. Correct. That's a three. He's going for the trip 18. All right, 104. I've seen it done so many different ways. Uh, unfortunate slip into the one. We have to correct ourselves here. Two. Yeah, it's, I mean, that 104, you can go so many different ways. It's not even funny. I like the, the 19s are out myself. Mm-hmm. It's popular amongst players for yeah, sure. Definitely. Second dart. There you go. Ooh, Big check out. 17, double A, excellent 67, and two. Definitely a quality out there from Miss West. She certainly made it look easy. West breaks throw to lead two to one. And starts us off in our fourth leg. Just while we're getting going here, a little sponsor shout out for these ladies. Uh, Phoenix Sports and Apparel for Miss Foster. She's got a signature barrel with them. It's a kind of got them Gerwin Price uh, grooves on the back end. I, I uh, yeah, kind of like that dark. look. Yeah, it's a very, very pretty dark. Got that blue, very good looking dark. blue in it. It's very, very pretty. And then uh, I, I didn't ask her any of her other sponsors. We'll get those afterwards. I believe she's a fit flight player, maybe. Just off of that uh, little top right corner. But then again, she's playing at oh. a friend's house. So we'll ask her right after this one. But for <laughs> West, she is a uh, fit fight player herself. She's got a colonial dart. She, that's, she plays the 5 8 zero, two, two brand on those ones. And her uh, signature flights. Those are some... Pretty cool flights, I must say. Kind of got that six-shooter look to them. Callie's been a long, long time fit flight Cosmo player. She's had her signature Wild Wild West flights uh, quite some time. I think it'd be exciting to design some new flights for her, maybe collab with, with fit flight there. So we hopefully have that in the works. And it's been pretty new that she, she came onto our team recently. She's with um, Magic Darts and A to Z Darts.com, Magic Wear, and Colonial Darts. Uh, her signature dart is being engineered as we speak. 
Unfortunately, due to COVID, it honestly should have been out so so long ago, but things have been delayed due to that. I was about to say she's got some uh, some pretty cool shirts. I I was looking on the Magicwear uh, website, kind of searching under player bio, doing that one because you can always see the player bios of every you know, all the Magicwear sponsored players. And there's some unique reads in there. We have you know there's some vast players in that Magicwear brand. Um, you know, from all over the world. Second dart. Good Ooh, dart there. Shot. Game shot and two for West, keeping up this excellent momentum. She broke and now has hold throw. And first set goes to Callie West. So I think these ladies are just kind of doing this, you know, the early stream jitters here, kind of. You know, and I think they're starting to pick it up here. You can see West taking to it. I think Foster's, you know, hitting a, a couple ones, unfortunately, 22. in her beginning first nine. And that's kind of, you know, if she can kind of maintain those, move them over to the 20, kind of keep them in that pie, I think she's going to have a uh, better go around. And you're going to see her average start to climb significantly. Yeah, she's, she's definitely um, a far more consistent, you know, Actual, just a standard like uh, shooting for for twenties. I don't see her switch too often away from that. I think she's just unfortunately slipping into the fives and ones a little. But with this long format, I mean, she can get comfortable and really get into the groove. But long time international player for Canada, very strong player. Oftentimes competes with uh, Jeff Smith and mixed doubles. Super powerful duo there. So she, I, I, I think we have plenty of time to see her kind of get into her groove. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I think. It, you can't really judge a match just off the beginning beginning legs because especially, you know, I haven't seen much from, you know, Miss Foster as as or West actually going out there and playing online virtually, um, you know, especially on a live stream. I haven't seen that very much. So, I mean, it definitely takes a leg or two to get used to, to get comfortable and then go from there. So... We'll see if these ladies it is do really here. hard when, when you're used to atmosphere play and playing on stage like these two, I'm sure, are. They often make, you know, top eight and above and get on that final stage. It's it's really tough to kind of, like, dig in and bring the best of your darts to a virtual stream. But this has been a great, a great leg here for Callie, come, starting off set two, a averaging 68 for the leg. Big old ton to leave 59. Excellent chance at the first check out here. Definitely, uh, definitely. 74 for the way. 19 for tops here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 laughing at herself a little. Yeah, laugh it uh, off. No, laugh no chance laugh. that I was going to correct that. Yeah, all right, so let's see. <laughs> Let's see where she goes. Yep, five for double sixteen here. Just outside. There it is. Third dart for Miss Callie West. Callie's gonna lead us off one to zero in our second set. She won that first set three to one. It takes this first one, so Foster with the throw. Let's see if she can hold it here and uh, get a leg underneath her belt and kind of start to climb back into this match. Here we go. We're heating things up. Foster with an 81 to start off leg two. So something I was kind of like doing is going into their throws, um, you know, kind of looking at live streams and, and just kind of, kind of, you know, everybody has a different th throw. So I always kind of like to look and see how, how the differences are. So of course with uh, West, you have a kind of significant at the end of her, at, at the end of her, she promptly throws her wrist out. Um, it's kind of a, and she also double clutches. 
She's a double clutch. If, if, if I'm if I'm seeing that right, yeah, double clutches, which is kind of a you know. You don't see so often, you know. In today's game, I mean, eh, it used to be more common in the in the newer part of the game. I, from my from my take, I mean, I may be talking a little bit too much, but yeah, no, I would agree. The double pump is. Um is I would say a little more on the rare side. You have your John part, you have, uh, and then on the Japanese side, you have a few that they're constantly kind of uh, cr relieving tension in the wrist by moving it. Um, what am I trying to think of? 11. Miramatsu, I want to say. <laughs> Haruki Miramatsu. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. I don't know how you how you got that name so good because I always butcher them. I cannot do that. And even, even some, I'm just known for even butchering some Canadian names. I mean... I am no name, na no name guru myself. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> right. I've spelt them out and said them to myself so many times because I'm another one. <laughs> Wes with a back to back 100s to get back into this leg. We, we had a strong start from Dana, but starting to slow down a little. So we definitely have Callie back in this match here. Yeah, she was laughing off a couple of those, you know, back-to-back -back 11s for but, her. You just kind of kind of laugh them off and continue to go, we you know. talk about those. Yeah, right. We'll, we'll, brush them up. we'll brush them underneath the table. Yeah, they're under the rug. <laughs> there we go. Back to the 81s. That's three in, in this single leg. Great shot, 90 to set up. Uh, a much more doable 56 out, but 131 for Dana. Ninety-seven. Ooh, and a Good 97. Shot. Definitely. Put in the pressure necessary. And I think there's nothing wrong with that 34 right there. Or, or 34 leave right there. She just needs to add some pressure. Especially in the you know situation she's in right now, add some pressure. Hopefully, get this leg and yeah. con continue to build. Anyone sitting on a one dart out is a scary First player. Start. Boom, and works there she for goes. It. First dart. Yep. Straight at that double seven. She may or, not. Me, yeah, she may not mind that number either. I mean, that may be a good number for her. It's a unique number, but you never know. Well, Canadians can hit any double. Will it doesn't matter <laughs> what it is. Yeah, I also heard a lot of them. You know. Hold some chalk. I wonder if she's doing that one. <laughs> that, that's that's definitely popular. I got in. I got into that habit just by playing in Canada. Unique, unique. I was, uh, you know, in Indiana this past weekend for the championship dart circuit stream. Uh, that was a phenomenal opportunity, by the way. I really enjoyed uh, seeing some of uh, the U.S. best dart players, you know, in the, in that same room. Uh, you had Larry Butler. You had uh, Darren Young. You had Gary Moss and. Uh, yeah, so many. Chuck Puglio, Danny Lobby Jr., Danny Lobby. But anyway, Gary Mawson was holding chalk the whole time. <laughs> kind of kind of, kind of unique, you know. And he's formerly of, from Canada, actually. Migrated yeah. down, and I think he's living in Florida. Yeah, it's hard to break a habit where your subjective mind wants to take over and just feel comfortable. Yeah. Me too. We were talking about throws. Um, as far as Foster, I love her throw. She seems very relaxed to the line. It's a pretty standard throw. She hunches just over the line, and pretty pretty straightforward. Pretty pretty straight back, straight through. Um, no no unique, unique tendencies yeah, on her part. Yeah, that lean over to create that ninety degree angle is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the funnest aspects of the game is to, to be kind of a geek for dart mechanics. And, and I do dearly miss being able to see the players. Normally with the camera angle, you can't see all of them, but that perfect side view of them is like my favorite. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, especially that was one opportunity we had the, um, you know, above, above camera angle for a little bit of the time. It was just as far as angles we didn't have the as big of a room as we wanted to do you know we're trying to do these unique things but you know having that third camera angle or a unique look 
really helps. And, you know, unfortunately doing this, not everybody has two webcams to give you a board view and a player view, but just to have the opportunity to play some darts versus, you know, some of you've played in a competitive nature before and you know it's going to be good for your game. It's, it's an opportunity, and I'm sure these ladies love this opportunity. 65. Anna up the ante with a 121 to follow with a 65 to get right back into this match here. We're tied up one-to-one -one in the second set. First set went to West. She's hoping to keep this momentum she's built. A slip into the five. She's not going to be able to get this 160, but great cover shot. Good cover dart on the second in the trip 20. Let's say I bet you West goes right at this one. Oh, yeah, she's going to go right for double 19. Ah, bust. <clears throat> An unfortunate bust will leave Foster the chance at this 75. So just a little forewarning. Shoot. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was a wrong uh, 39. I see how we kind of conversate here. We'll just have a third leg in the second set for 38-38. Uh, It's like 20 scored to give Diana one last chance to capitalize, steal this leg. Nine. Unfortunate slip into an odd number, had to use her precious third dart to fix that. I'm just over here on the edge of my seat wondering who's going to take this leg here. Unfortunate there. Double eight. Game in three. There it is. There go. Game shot for Dana Foster. Takes 29 and three. And she leads us two to one in the second set. Best of five for each of these sets. We're playing five sets tonight. And don't forget you all, we're going to be taking a break after this second set here. And then we're going to play out the remaining three. I was just about to say it. You beat me to it. We'll take a short break. Uh, we're going to look at a world cup, or you know, the World uh, Dart Federation Virtual Cup. Uh, kind of take a peek at that and see uh, you know, how that's going here. While these uh, ladies take a short break, nothing too crazy. In the meantime, let us know where you're tuning in from. Let's hear it. What I'm city? Someone from what the province? UK already are saying it's past midnight. Still watching darts, not done with the night. That's probably Mr. Mark Hughes. He's an avid follower of USA Darts. It was. Loves it was. when these ladies are the uh, playing on the stream. He loves any of our streams, but it's great. Thanks. Looks like a lot of people on the East Coast watching away as well as in Canada. We really appreciate the viewership, you guys. Obviously, to grow women's darts, you need spectatorship just as much as any general encouragement and opportunity. So we truly thank you guys for watching and sharing and cheering on top quality players. We've had some fantastic women on the stream, and we've only been with this company, well, I think a few weeks now. We had Maria O'Brien versus Tori Kewish. What a massive averaging in the 70s the entire uh, best of 31 legs, and we follow that up with Stacy Pace and Laura Turner from England. Laura wants a rematch in cricket, I hear, against Stacy, so that's going to be exciting. Yeah, you don't hear that. You don't, 65. you don't hear that often from an English person wanting right. to play some cricket. 
Well, you may have heard uh, Miss Laura Turner on the Grand Prix call. Or Grand Prix call. Oh, wait a second. There's a big 180 from Callie West. Let me get the 180 tally going. There we One for go. Callie here. 10 left. Wow, it's elite 10. First start. Boom. First start. I almost said third. Wow. <laughs> 180 to take out and even up this set two to two. Let's see who steals the second set before the break. Anyone. Anytime Callie 24. hits something big, she starts off strong. I was about to say, yeah. I was going to get piggyback on my thought, but, you know, it just it's gone now. You get a 180, and who cares? Who cares what you're thinking about beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about her 67 out. It's just perfect. Trip 17, double eight. When you see, you know, kind of perfect uh, obvious strategy for an owl there's just no better feeling definitely definitely we've got lots of likes shares follows coming in that's great to see also you know with those big names i like to say you know we're not even though our name is usa darts I don't, we're not just usa darts we're you know we're north american darts we're international darts we're anything darts we just are promoting the game of darts um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a male, female, young, old, um, you know, I'm working on, you know, possibly getting some para darters on here because that is important too. You know, that's a part of the game that some people don't even touch, 95. you know, or, 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 or don't even know about, you know, so that's an important thing that hopefully we can do here soon. And as well as soft tip, you know, that's something that we need to get on here more often as well. Great leg here. 95 followed by an 85. Callie with the first chance of the out, hoping to, to get set two under her belt 16. as well. 155, trip 20, trip 19, double 19. I don't know about that one myself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong close, with it. But good cover shot there. I'm a bull guy on that 155. <laughs> Oh, just a 60? Oh, are you? <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> I was wondering if you caught that or not. <laughs> 7 for 65. He tries to go for the 15 for bull there. Yeah, I mean, that's a good, good option, especially with 132 for Miss Foster. Goes for trip 20 here. She hits it. Unlucky. Oh, I almost would like to see that bull in play there, but I mean, when you hit it first dart, sure looks good. Five for tops. Double ten. Third dart. Third wow. dart. It is. All righty. Let's chime over to these ladies real quick. We're gonna take a short break. That is two sets. Miss West up 2-0. All righty, ladies. Well, we'll see you here in about five minutes. What do you say? All right. Thank you, Will. All righty. Keep it going. We'll see you here shortly. Okay. All righty. We'll cut our mics to them. We'll head over to our... Let's see if I can get Miss Jin in here to talk about this virtual cup. One second. All righty. No, it ain't going to work on me. So I'll talk about this World Cup. Jin, we'll kick it. We'll, we'll bring you back in here in a second. But anyway, the WDF virtual cup is happening here soon folks it's actually going on right now but the knockout rounds will be happening here shortly in about a week or so so we have elena de graf martin adams mikuru suzuki uh, richard vinstra fallon shirok keen berry tori quish and danny baggish to name a few folks so definitely want to tune in on dc tv to check out these matchups 
There's quite a few going on, 47 nations and four males, four females from each nation. So tune in as they tow the Aki, and then we'll have the knockout rounds right here, streamed live on USA Darts. Set up right now. <laughs> yeah. All righty, folks. We're going to head back over to it with Dana Foster to throw first. We're in our third set here with Cali up 2 0. Dana to throw first. Game on. 12, Cali. All righty. Jen, are you there? I am. Can everyone hear me? Oh, yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. All righty. So. We made some slight adjustments. You may have heard her talking in the background because uh, I may have had a fumble on the mic, but that's okay. No big deal. Uh, it was just for a second, so you didn't hear much anyways. But, yeah, we just did a little change on the board view. We took off that ring, right, uh, ring light and put a different light on there. So it's coming out very crisp, very clear. Hopefully that helps for everybody. I know uh, we try to get the best one possible, and Robin was the one that was like, nah, this ain't going to work. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she's also 
Callie's not just trying to win the match. She's trying to win best looking board as well. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. I like Dane. I like, honestly, in my opinion, I do like Dana's, Dana's view uh, of her dartboard. Slightly off, just above the bull. I kind of like that angle myself. And some people prefer Callie's view. I know, like, oh, he's probably tuned in and watch us right now. He has the same kind of board view where it's kind of just above that, uh, above the board or on the wall or on the ceiling. My apologies, but everybody's got their own unique setup. Some people use their phone too and just tripod it. Six. Right, Dana was starting to heat heat up there in that uh, previous set. Just starting to put build and kind of get a couple legs underneath there. That last one ended three two. So uh, let's see what Miss Foster can do 77. here. Good seventy seven. I'll set her up nicely with a one two seven out. Needs a big number. Needs a hundred at least. She's not gonna have it with the single one there. Eighty-four. Speaking of Jay Wall, he gives us a big share. Appreciate these shares coming through. A couple of them. That's great to see. We may not mention it a bunch, but that's why we have that little. Uh, little uh, icon up there in the top right corner so we uh, give you a little thank you for doing so oh, my favorite i love it yeah it's it's kind of nice it's not uh too much not in the middle of the screen and uh, has a nice little touch to it i like it dana missing the chance at that 43 leaving cali uh hopes to take out a big check out here her highest check out of the match thus far 67 80 scored lead 50. Double 10 here. Take advantage. Come on, Foster. Looks double like a slip into the double six. Yeah. 12. 12 scored. Tops. Third dart. Ooh, game shot in three. Kelly West is going to lead us 1-0 to zero in our third set. And she's up 2-0 for the total best of five sets. Miss Robin Curdy giving the smiley face. <laughs> she, I think she heard my call out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a bit of a, of a delay, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of Robin, we do want to give her a shout out. She's playing in the WDF Virtual Cup herself, along with uh, Danny Warmack. I said four and four, it's two and two. I meant four players all together. So two males, two females. My apologies on that one for That's the right. WDF Virtual Cup. But That's anyway. Danny Baggish, Joe Huffman, Robin Curry, and Danny Warmack for your Team USA. Cheer them on. You can follow them on Dark Connect if you want to see when they play their matches. Oh, 26. Yeah, definitely. Uh, team Canada, of course, is in the mix as well. So crazy. The world's largest international virtual online competition right now. 47 countries, I think over 180 players. So definitely follow along. You'll see us streaming the knockout rounds. But follow along in the meantime. Cheer on Team USA and Team Canada here in the North America. Yeah, to have, I mean, <laughs> players such as Martin Adams, Fallon Shirok, Mikuru Suzuki, uh, you know, Richard Vinstra. And even, you know, you can throw Danny in the mix because Danny's been playing – lights out himself recently and you know there's no such huffman can do the same and on the you know women's side he, you know curry can curry can if she if she gets going you don't know what can happen you know 85. i think it'll be interesting to see what happens and especially with a world master spot on the Ooh, line she can be dangerous yeah she can be dangerous 16. any given moment and folks, that is a the WDF World Masters. You know, I, as some of you may know, the BDO is no longer. So uh, WDF hopes to take that spot and kind of promote the amateur game and uh, have the amateur outlet of a world championship.
90 score to leave it a very doable 56. 50. 48. The double four? Second dart. Boom! Second dart. What a check out there. She's had a, a, a quality 57. That was a good 56 out there. Whether she was going for that triple or not. West to hold throw, game shot in two is leading us 2-0 in this third set. 2-0. <laughs> We're gonna play all sets so we can get some darts thrown here tonight. Definitely, I mean these 55. these ladies just want to continue to throw. They want to play, you know, especially with these circumstances that we have now. You know, they, they don't get the they might not okay. get the opportunity to play darts like this you know with a little little added pressure to it being on the live stream 81 81 back to back 81s sorry go ahead will uh, i was just about to give it give a little you know promo for our new jerseys that we got you know, those nice jerseys. You can head over to usadarts.live and check those out. We have three new versions as well as our older model, that version number one. But that version number one is always still still one of my favorites. But anyway, go over there and check that out as well as our uh, schedule that's coming up. We're working on some matches right now. I'm uh, texting a few good players to be on the stream. And, uh, you know, we're also always taking text. names. Oh, oh, what? Wow. Oh man. That would be a good one. That's we okay. might need to make that happen, Missy. I think it's I think it's a <laughs> William Stewart versus Jen Mounts moment and we'll hire someone else to stream. Oh man. I can't believe you just said that. We might have to do that. <laughs> now everybody's gonna want that one. You just you just may have done it to yourself. Seventy. Best of ninety one. <laughs> No. It's going to be a three-day three marathon. No. <laughs> you throw darts till you can't anymore. There are 22. Seeing a couple players from this weekend uh, on uh, the stream. Paul Schwindemann, uh, Gino Florian uh, from the CDC this weekend. Of course, Jeff Smith's kind of chiming in. Of course, he's been partnered with both these players, so why wouldn't he? See how these ladies are doing. It was really incredible to get to watch the top U.S. players battle out over the weekend for the CDC event. It was so great. Uh, you know, hats off to both Will and Kevin Mountbaum for coming back in from the retirement days and giving everyone some amazing entertainment. We hope to just kind of keep that up in the virtual world until we can get out physically on the road as well. Yeah, definitely. I want to give a big shout out to Kevin. Uh, you know, I've never been to a live live show like that and to have the opportunity yeah, for him to hand show me that was pretty pretty unique second dart. boom Ooh, second dart. she likes that nice. double 19. makes it three oh on set <laughs> Dana just needs to kind of take a breather here and get Recoup. I think she was, telling, you know, kind of saying in the in the in the um, break there that she may have been a little bit uncomfortable. There's a good 81. There she goes. Come on. I think scoring has been pretty decent. We're seeing lots of 80s. We have a 180 from Callie. Callie's finishing has just been, um, you know, really tough to play against. I mean, she's she's finishing first, second dart. Dana's had plenty uh, plenty of opportunities. You know, if she had one little one little miss on one out, then she might be able to steal a few legs here and there. But uh, Callie has not given her a chance. 60. 
Yeah, I think you described it perfectly. Callie's just not missing those outs, and Vanna's, you know, when she gets an opportunity, she may miss it, and then Callie swoops right in and takes advantage of it. There's a big ton following her 85-81 start. Great leg for Callie, averaging in the 80s. That's another factor, too. There you go. Come on. That's another factor you see, too, is Callie's, you know, averages climbed up significantly. She's now sitting at 60, um, where Dana's kind of sat the same, you know, at that 51. She's kind of crept up a little bit, but, you know, just a couple missed opportunities at those outs. It does not help. Seven. Was not able to take out that 135. I think 108 is going to be a tough one to steal the leg, but very doable. It's a quality leg between these two. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. 120 for Kelly West in three. Shanghai. <laughs> That's an 18 dart leg. Wow. Quality stuff. And, and Dana's right in that leg, too. You, you know what I mean? Her scoring has been just right on par with, with Callie's, I think, thus far, and has had a, ch a chance or two to steal with a big out, but Callie's finishing has just been a uh, monster. Wow. I mean, you're correct. I mean, I don't even know what to, I mean, what to say. I mean, Callie's just – She's turning it on when she needs to and hitting those outs when she needs to, and that's just a crucial point in this in this match. That's all that's all that you're you're seeing the differences here. Yeah. She's always been a clutch player. I mean that's what experience gives you, is to conserve your <laughs> your amazing darts energy and just kinda of, uh, tuck it out, you know, and roll it out when you need it. Yeah, you saw you saw it in their, you know, previous match at Seacoast Open, you know, she came back from behind three two down and turned the table and won four three. Wow, back to back tons following 83, averaging in the 94 90s now. My goodness. 41. Anytime Callie does something amazing, her next leg is even better. It's, it's been the, uh, the consistent uh, theme here for her. Oh, I, I'm such a jinxer. I jinx everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Callie. I, that was my bad, that 26. You can blame me. That was my deal this, this weekend is uh, trying not to jinx myself with the switches. I was being a switch man this weekend instead of a commentator, and that was a little bit different for me. But uh, I was trying not to jinx stuff behind the booth. I felt like I was sometimes trying to see their eyeballs. Yeah. That's, a, that's a different 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 deal but it was definitely an, an entertaining one to see how those you know professionals like richard ashtown does that you know that's a tough job it really is and and you know even when you have the top the best quality players in north america you, sometimes they do things finicky and their strategy is not at all what you would expect and they switch where you don't think they're gonna go or they throw so fast it's just difficult for that reason alone like you're doing lobby juniors yeah, that was a full board view most of the match, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, that, that boy's brain is, is way faster than he even throws, so that combination is killer. He can do his math before his arm can even catch up. Oh, 92, 92 here for, for West. Cali. Same brain here, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> See what uh, Dana does here. Uh, Goes downstairs. Nope, she's gonna stay up there. Yeah, I don't think she likes to switch too much. Um, and the, the, there's good, good cover shot in the third hundred, tying up 73-73. Yeah, you did mention she she predominantly likes those twenties, you know, and uh, she proves it there. You know, what would commonly be kind of maybe a one thirty three opportunity for some, uh, she stays up there, gets that ton and. Leave 73. 33 to leave tops for Callie. Let's see if Dana can capitalize on the big old 73. Trip 19 double eight. Oh, 
Oh, he's going for the 13 route. A little bit safer. Second darn didn't give her too much help, though. She's going to have to correct this now. Everyone? Double checking the math here. Tops for Kelly West. He scored inside on the double 10, unfortunately. 10 for double 16. Oh, oh just 26. inside? Oh, oh wow. My goodness, <laughs> That's just the opportunity she's been missing. She, she's got to take advantage of those. Exactly. Oh. There we go. She's going to have an opportunity to double eight. Let's see if she can, she can take this one. Have a chance at this set. Come on. Oh. But no score. No score. Back to Wes, relishing in this moment to take care of those two twos. Third dart. Third dart. More of the usual from Miss West. Shot in three, Wes to lead two. 2-0 in the fourth set, up 3-0 total sets. Wow. Just showing no mercy. Oh, 123. That's fun. A great start. It's on 23 open. And a ton to follow that 123. Excellent scoring now. I was talking about her finishing, but scoring's been excellent as well. Yeah, you are correct there. Her score, her checkouts are great. Look at that, 140. Wow. 123, 100, 140. Even Miss Foster says, good shots. West with 52 to leave 86, a monster leg here for her. Kiko okay, trip 18, double 16. I think that was the route she was going. Slip into the four though. Six. 82 would have been trip 14, double 20. Um, and unfortunately just missed that top shot inside 20. Ooh, big old 140 from Dana Foster. There you go. Double 10, though, for West. Double four? Second dart. Yes. Second dart. 17 dart leg there for West. What a leg. 4-0 on sets for West. Have a day, have a day. And we're into our fifth and final set of the night. Best of five, final set. West leading us four to zero in sets. She has a 180 under her belt. She's got a 120 high checkout for the, for the night. Fantastic darts. You know what's embarrassing to say is she's had all these quality little checkouts that I almost forgot about that 120. Yeah, yeah, she's had um, just great two dart outs all day, but that big 120 for the Shanghai. Not often you say that, but I mean, oh, 85. just how quality those two dart checkouts have been. I mean, that's that's the skills you see at the professional level on those on those you know two darters. A ton from West, but Dana starting off strong with back to back 85s. 60. 
Nothing wrong with a solid 60, and for her going first, it's definitely a good position for her to be in. Solid scoring. And a nice 100, definitely more indicative of her abilities here in, in this fifth and final set. I love when I can just sit back and watch the show and and you just know, just oh, I'll chime in here. Sometimes I just love just getting lost in the games myself. I don't, I don't blame you. Look at this, another 85 to leave an 86 first chance at the out. If she finishes on here, I mean, this would definitely be, I, I think, one of the more impressive legs. Definitely, definitely. Come on. Trip 18, double 16. Go for it. She does go for it. Almost pays off for her, too. Oh, man, wow. was that close. Good effort. Yeah, that, I don't think there's any way she wasn't going for that. She needs a little momentum. That would have been the perfect, perfect momentum builder. She can still she can still carry some momentum. She gets this two dart out here, gets it like that, maybe in three. Callie's not out for the count though. She, she wants the shoot. Cannot she's do that. Oh no! Oh, an unfortunate plus. Let's see if that ninety eight paid off for a ninety five out. Yeah. Callie doesn't go Shoot. bull there. That's that's Shoot. surprising. She's trying to go trip nineteen, double nineteen. Yep. A lot of players really like to just transition down. I don't blame her. It's a nice feeling going trip nineteen, double nineteen. Well, especially the way she's been attacking those double nineteens tonight. <laughs> yeah. She's definitely not scared of that leave. Let's just take a breather for game and two. There you go. Ooh, there she goes. Nice game. Build some momentum Thank you. here. There you go. Get you a set here, Foster. Come on. Game shot and two for Dana Foster. Holds throw and leads us one to zero in our fifth and final set. I know I'm supposed to be biased, folks, but it's hard not to be. Not to be a little bit every once in a while. On the underdog, you know. Well, I think I think the goal is whoever's throwing, then you're their number one fan, and then it just switches every round, and that's kind of my mindset. I just whoever's throwing, I want them to do the best job possible. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's no, by no means do we want these ladies to come out here and and have a terrible showing by any means, and and I don't think anybody is. I think it's just an advantage, you know, a couple, you know, missed opportunities, and advantage for the other, you know, person. But one hundred. Just to be on this stream in general, and and, uh, and for them to allow us into their homes, is a, an amazing opportunity to uh, showcase these two. Tons. Wow, what a leg here! Back to back tons for West. Let's see if Dana can do the same. Twenty-four. He's a triple here. Come on. I think that is one right there. 100. Yep. Good shot there for Foster. And there's a ton. No one with an out shot just yet. Let's see what Callie leaves herself. 45. 45. Leave 121. I think any kind of a ton plus round here would be major for Foster. 44. We're keeping things pretty competitive and even here in this leg. So one, three, two for Foster. 
She went 20s last time. Let's see if she stays there. She will. 40. Like an 18 there. Yep, bust. And a bust on, on the trip seven. All right, 92. It's a great out. Oh, she's on the bull route. 25 scored. Oh, she just missed that opportunity. She just missed the big number on 17. Second dart. Good shot. West takes advantage. Once again. Game shot in two. West to even up this final set one to one. Shot there. Good openers from both these ladies. Sitting on 363. I think that's a triple right oh, there. Good first start. A little high. 81. 81. Solid though. 81's good. 45. Just trying to work her way down. Take another leg here. Be up 2 1 in this last set. Beautiful ton. Gonna give her a little bit of a lead going second, trying to still break throw and still a leg. 60. She got in no, she did not. Unlucky there for Foster. Four. She's trying to go trip 18 tops. Yep. I'll leave 75 or 72. Yep, 75. <clears throat> Sorry, 73 let's... would have been that score. Go ahead. I was going to say, let's see a 151. 79. 79 scored ain't bad, though. 72, add some pressure to that 75. That's for sure. 17. Trip 17, double 12, but slip into the 17. 18, yep, for tops. Third Boom! Wow. Nice shot, Callie. Callie West, game shot in three, 75 out. Had some great outs this these five sets. I was going to say, that's another, another check mark for a quality one. Ton. Callie trying to round this off. She gets one more. One five zero. Foster trying to deny that. Needs a triple this next round. Needs two of them. Either that or just relax and, you know, nice shot at the out. 
to do wonders. 28. Ooh, just above. I thought that would have been in. I would have left the big fish. Ton. Nice ton to leave 88. There you go. Right back at you, a ton from Dana Foster. Get right back into this leg, wanting to even up this final set, two to two. There you go, 18, I believe. Yep, she will. The bull? Oh, no, we it, missed the triple. That was yeah. a triple, yeah. That was a trip. I thought that was a bull shot, too. 58. Let's see if Callie seven. can clean up this 14. Double seven for the match. First start. First, First start, start it is. Wow, wow, wow. All right, well, we'll kick it over here. Jen, you want to head over to Skype? All righty. Hey, ladies, we'll go ahead and uh, do a quick one if you want to step in front of your cameras or switch yours around, Wes. How about go home? How about just go home? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think it was just a couple oh, missed opportunities you. for you. Good job, Kelly. Good job. Just play well. Just play well. Yeah, no, you're up. Up. There you go. There you, you see go. My face? Yeah, yeah, we can Where's get we you. Can? I lost. I lost. Oh, I lost hard. Kelly. I don't know. I'm glad I got to experience it. Thank you, Dan and Matt, you know, for all you do with these live streams. It was awesome. Well, well played, Callie. Well played. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That was tricky. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a different world. It's a different world for sure. Yeah, now you think you're, you're throwing at home. This will be easy, and it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm just doing some, a little camera work here. Callie, I actually lost you on our feed. So if you, I don't know if you want to transfer back to your other one. It looks like it's not okay. popping up for us. All right. Maybe we can get you to just jump in front of your board, but I'm going to pull. I had Dana, Dana perfectly in line. Yeah, I think it was just a, I think it was just a couple missed opportunities of what it was. Dana, when you, when you would just have a, a chance at a checkout, you just miss it. And then she would just take it right out and two darts or three. And I think that's just what, yeah. what was happening. Was there. Doubles, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just, that 60 it was all over it but i just couldn't find it couldn't yeah find it. yep exactly you have, have those games exactly i think that i mean i don't think the averages show you know what what you're capable of i know you're definitely a quality player um i definitely have seen a couple highlights of you and uh i think we're we're, we're due for a little rematch here sooner rather than later oh, yeah. she's like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, that's going to be coming in no time. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, awesome. Callie, I'm still not getting you, Missy. Let's no, see if I'm, we can pull right. you in. Let me put it on. I just got to get on a chair because apparently I'm really short. <laughs> <laughs> well, it always, it always works. I'm short, but let me get up on the uh, thing here. Yeah, it always works. We'll kick it over to, a, to another view real quick. Jeez. Like, how far do I have to go up? Oh, my God. I'm not really that short, I swear. <laughs> I'm actually... mounted on the ceiling and, you know... I'm actually... I've actually... I think I've lost your, your camera, so all I'm seeing right now is Miss Dana. I don't even have your feed in here. Oh, you don't even want me. You want Callie. Yeah, she's like, come on. Come on. Get off me. We'll see if we can get it to work. If not, we'll... We'll kick it back in and do a post-match interview or something. I always like doing interviews with you ladies. There we go. There she is. 
Thank All right. Thank you for us with your presence. <laughs> All righty. You got to hop on that chair, young lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see this. <laughs> the camera's off. Is it working? It keeps going off on you. We had you for a second. Wow. It's oh, really weird. Man. I don't know why it's doing that. As soon as we switch to the, uh, the, the computer camera, it's just going off on us. All righty. Well, how do we do this? How do we do this? I'll talk to you ladies here shortly, and we'll do a post-match interview and uh, release it on another date. All right. Awesome. That sounds awesome. fine. <laughs> awesome. Well, there. Now I got you now. Look at that. Now once you say it, it is like, no, 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 work. Do some spell. There you are. Yeah, you're here. I see you now. <laughs> Got your hand hand waving. Waving. That's about about it. It. There she is. All righty. And then the container drops out. All righty. That's how it's going to be. All righty. Well, ladies, I appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm still dropping feeds, so I'll just do a post-match. I'll contact you ladies in the next day, and we'll do a little post-match right, awesome. interview. And then I'm going to get uh, – a little rivalry going here again and we're gonna do another awesome. another run back <laughs> maybe with some maybe with some cricket in the mix that's what seems to be the yeah. rematch factor i don't know if dan is dan is you in i think we lost her all righty <laughs> okay all righty well thank you ladies i appreciate it we're dropping you left and right so we'll we'll head out i'll contact you in the next day and uh, we'll do a post match okay All righty, see you guys. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Stay safe. All righty, Jen, can you hear me? I can. All righty, so you're still in the call with us. We're just on our on our on our feature screen. It's screen, so we'll just sit here and talk about the match just between us. It was a good one, definitely. I mean, you definitely wanted to see. Foster kind of, you know, if she just would have had a couple more doubles, I think that this would have been a different match and it could have been neck and neck the whole way. But, you know, just a couple missed opportunities. Leg, that, that second set, I think it really had that potential when you saw it and then you immediately take the break afterwards. I think it was just difficult on them both. Yeah, she's still very inexperienced when it comes to the virtual world as well. So you have to take that into consideration. She's just such a serious long time player. It's really hard to completely change your atmosphere and then feel comfortable, um, you know, and maybe chalking your own match, calling out your own score. It, it, there's so many elements that come into play. And I think Callie's been really eager to, to you know, want to get some practice in. And it, it just maybe she just had the perfect mindset to come in strong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's the thing about it. I mean, she's, you know, these these we've been con conversating about this for I think a couple weeks now about doing this matchup. But you can never prepare yourself for the day of, and especially you know dealing with what with Foster dealt with today, where she kind of had to go to another friend's house and do yeah. the thing per se and, and come out and play you know it could have been a factor but we're not making excuses we're definitely going to do a rematch between these two because both of them deserve it and uh i think we're going to see better averages on both parties not just uh not just one or the other so i think both of them have are capable of throwing uh Absolutely. close to that 70 average so i'm i'm looking forward to a rematch and maybe with some cricket involved too uh maybe yeah just cricket showdown too. sounds good there we go all righty well we'll head out well it's unfortunate that our you know it kind of just kept dropping one or the other one or the other so we'll coordinate like a post-match interview with these guys and then do a uh run it back per se as as they as they want to say so anyway jen i appreciate you spending some time with me this evening and doing this match it was fun anytime all right well, I look forward to the next one. Um, but in the meantime, definitely go over and check out that uh, WDF Virtual Cup, folks, as uh, everyone's towing the hockey for that one. 47 nations, over 180 players. Who's going to be in the top 32 of the males and females? Find out on the Dark Connect event tab, WDF Virtual Cup 2020. Thanks, folks. Have a good night. From Jen Mounts and I, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.